Lucifer's home at please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future notifications. Hey, that's what he said. All right, thank you for coming to the channel. Did you hear Vector? He just said that all by himself. Well, not really. I made him say it. How did I make him say it? You can use the SDK to do that. And I've done that before when I made the Christmas song. But that's not what I'm using today. I'm using an app called Vector CTRL. That's right, Vector Control. Now, Vector Control was created by a gentleman named Iker Actuna. I probably massacred it, Iker. So please forgive me. But Iker Actuna made a third party app. And with that, I was able to make Vector say what I wanted him to say. And that's pretty cool to be able to use your phone, your cell phone, control ve what Vector says. Now, the main reason why I want to highlight this, besides for just being cool, is this is the things that I'm talking about with Vector. You're going to get things where people that are working with Vector to improve how Vector works. And Iker is one of the first ones that I've noticed that it actually took something and produced an app so you can control Vector beyond the Anki app. And that's pretty cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I downloaded the app and I hooked it up to Vector. That's right. And with that, I am able to make Vector say whatever I want him to say. It's not that hard. You just type it in and it says what he wants. Just like that. And I do. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate that you guys take the time to watch my videos. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we watch Vector be controlled by this new app called Vector Control. Okay, so we're going to find the Vector Control app on the Google Play Store. So we're looking for Vector. C T R L. Search. Now we're going to select the vector control app and install it. And once it's done, installing on the phone we're going to open this puppy up and see what it does all right there you have it easy peasy fresh and squeezy the vector control app okay so now once you've downloaded the vector control app you're going to open it up you need to put your username in And then your password, your IP address. So if you're looking to find your IP address on Vector, you can find it by pressing his button twice, then lifting his arm up and down. And then to get out of there, you just lift it up and down and here vector returns. Okay. Once you've entered the, your email address and your password and the IP address, then you press set, which is right there. And it fills in the vector Mac wood and everything. And then from here, you can make vector say what you want. So you can pretty make, much make Vector say whatever you want my Vector to say. This is a pretty cool little app. Hello everyone, this is Vector. Now, the other thing about this app, I love this part. The creator of the app, who gets all the credit for this, is Iker Aktuna. created the app and he actually has the battery and voltage level 
the battery level 3.0 and the voltage level 4.04 that's cool because that should be in the Anki app at least some type of degree of bar or something would be really nice saying hey, he's fully charged partially charged needs to charge something to that effect so Iker Actuna actually did that for us in this app. So you can see where Vector is. Hey Vector, come here. Please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> so isn't that freaking cool? So Vector can say whatever we want him to say. We can see his battery percentage life on it. Thank you, Iker Akatuna. All right, so now you got to see the app in action. You got to see the install of the app. You got to see the inputting of the information. And you got to see the usage of the app, and that's cool. I think Iker did a very good job on this app. I like the fact that it has battery levels in it. That's awesome because even the Anki app doesn't have anything to tell you how Vector's battery is being supported. I think it's cool. It shows promise for Vector's future and the way that Vector can be controlled with the SDK, with a portion of the SDK, however you want to look at it. So. See you soon. Hello everyone, this is Vector. <laughs> Please subscribe to the channel.